Hey guys, what's up? Game three tonight. It's Noah Syndergaard versus uh, Giordano Ventura. It's a very, very big game for the Mets tonight. It's a must win. They don't win this game. Series is over. You know, I know it's best of seven. You got to lose four. But Mets lose this game. Series is over. Not coming back being down 3 0. Syndergaard's got to pitch a good game. Ven Ventura's a tough pitcher. So I think this will be a good game. Uh, I think the Mets win this one tonight. You know, I picked the Mets uh, to win both games because I thought they'd win game one. And then I thought they'd win game two because I didn't think they'd go down two to nothing. But what are you going to do? It happens. Uh, it's part of the game, you know. Like I've said before, game one was a huge loss. Because I thought they had that one. Game two, they just, you know, got out, outplayed, you know. Uh, Kansas City played a lot better than they did in game two. You know, now the Mets, they have some guys tonight that need to get big hits. Um, Daniel Murphy, he needs a big hit. Cespedes, he needs a big hit. You know, they uh, they just need everybody, you know, the, the big guys to get some hits. You know, Murphy's been cold this whole series. You know, they need help from Cespedes. You know, they need help from Granderson. They need help from those big bats in the lineup. But the two most importantly that they need is Cespedes and uh, Murphy and you know the layoff probably did hurt those guys especially Daniel Murphy you know uh, a week off not playing any games you know you're in that momentum getting a lot of home runs and then you're off for a week you know and all of a sudden you gotta come back out and play again you're cold you know so they just got to get some big hits tonight and come out swinging. You know, I and I expect that. I think the Mets will come out strong early, they, and they have to. Because Kansas City is a very, very tough team. You know, uh, you can't fall behind against them because their pitching is very, very good. You fall behind against... Kansas City, it's hard to come back, you know. It's hard to come back against either of these teams. Mets, too. But I think Kansas City's offense is a little is a little better than the Mets. You know, they, those guys can hit and they're quick. And I just think it's amazing that they were able to hit the Grom and Harvey the way they did. So, but I think the Mets win tonight because they know they have to. I think they'll take two games in New York, and it'll be 3-2 going back to uh, Kansas City. So I like the Mets to win tonight. Syndergaard's a pretty good pitch pitcher. So, uh, but Ventura, Ventura's good too. But a lot of the guys, you know, they only go five, six innings, you know. So and then, they, but they have a strong enough bullpen. Um, their guys can, you know, only need to go six innings. And then you have uh, guys like Herrera, who can come in and uh, give you two two innings. So, Chris Young and uh, Max are scheduled to pitch tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if they do go tomorrow. Chris Young did pitch the other day, but those are the guys that are scheduled to pitch tomorrow. Another another guy, Steve Matz, 
who was making his uh, first uh, World Series uh, pitching his pitching debut tomorrow. So you know Kansas City, they're they're experienced now. They were there last year. They got back there this year to prove that they were no fluke. You know the Mets. There's not a lot of guys on that team that have World Series experience. You know, Curtis Granderson and Juan Uribe and I think Kelly Johnson too. But then there's not a lot of other guys on that team that have World Series experience. So this is new for the Mets. Um, but I like the Mets to win this game tonight. Uh, we got an interesting game in the NBA tonight. On uh, we got a doubleheader on ESPN. We got the uh, Heat versus the Cavaliers. I think that'll be an interesting game. You know, Miami's getting a lot of hype this year. You know, some people are saying that could possibly be a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh I think it's going to be balls in Cleveland, but you never know. Uh, Miami's got a tough team. If they stay healthy, they could very well be there or be a spoiler. Um, I don't really care for either team, Miami or Cleveland. I will be I will be rooting for Miami because I can't stand Cleveland. I don't like LeBron, you know great player and everything. I hate the comparisons to Jordan because uh, you know this is a different era but uh, I just don't like how he complains a lot but you know nothing against him. He's a great player, best player in the NBA um, but I, I just don't like him but I think uh, It'll be a good game. I think Cleveland will win. And then uh, you got Golden State in Houston. That'll be a, a pretty good game. You know, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Golden State can repeat this year. You know, there's some teams that got better in the West. You know, so, you know, if Houston's healthy, they could be tough. Golden State will be tough. San Antonio got better. Clippers got better, so Memphis is always tough. So, and the Pelicans don't sleep on them. They're they're a good team, you know. They if they stay healthy, they could be tough to beat. It was uh, hard because they drew the Golden State in the first round last year. So, but yeah, that's what's going on tonight. And we got college football tomorrow and the NFL Sunday. So, uh, not a lot of big games this weekend for uh, college. You got Florida and Georgia. That's always a big game. Made my pick for that one. I said Florida. Got Notre Dame and Temple. Temple's ranked 22nd. Notre Dame's going on the road. That game's going to be under the lights. That's a huge game for Temple. I like Notre Dame in that one. And then, this is a long shot, but Florida State could be on upset alert again this week. Dalvin Cook is out tomorrow with ankle injury against Syracuse. Now, I haven't really been impressed with Florida State this season. You know, they were undefeated coming into this game, but coming into last week, and then they lost to Georgia Tech on a, you know, you can call it a lucky play, but it happens. We saw it the week before where the uh, punter fumbled a snap for Michigan, so, but they could be on spoiler alert tomorrow because Dalvin Cook is a big part of their offense. So, Florida and Syracuse, who they're playing, 
uh, has got a pretty good defense. They have a good pass rush. You know, they've been in a lot of games that they should have won that they've lost. You know, I'm surprised, with, you know, I know they've lost four straight, but, you know, they played LSU tough. You know, this Dungy kid is good. He's just got to learn to slide when he runs. So, you know, it is a long shot tomorrow, but Syracuse could pull off the upset. Uh, Florida State's going to need to have some guys step up tomorrow. So, and then my Buckeyes are playing Minnesota tomorrow at 8 o'clock as well. So, they should be able to win that game, but you never know. Can't take anybody lightly. Anybody can be beat on any given day. Alright guys, you have a uh, good night. Enjoy the games tonight for World Series and basketball if you're watching. And the games uh, this weekend for football. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.